In this tutorial we'll show you how to use clipping in Gizmo. We start with an experiment where we have a simple Gaussian surface displayed with default color table. We're going to uh, add some clipping to it and to do that we go to the display list and we append and enable and we enable a clipping of the first plane which is clipping plane 0. We add the actual clip plane and the clip plane is defined by a set of four parameters a, b, c, and d so that a times x plus b times y plus c times z plus d equals zero. This is a typical equation of a plane and the plane is uh, drawn in uh, the coordinate system here so that the cube that we see, the viewing cube, is in the range of plus or minus one in the x, y, and z directions. We'll start by just appending this clipping plane with a equals 1 and all the other parameters being 0. Now, after we add the clipping plane, we also have to disable clipping to make sure that clipping does not continue when we don't want it to. So we'll add the disable, and again we are disabling clip plane 0 only. So at this point we just have the uh, enable clip and disable but since we're not drawing anything after the clip this has absolutely no effect. If we take surface 0 now and draw surface 0 after the clipping you will see here that we have basically cleaved the surface right at the x equals 0 plane. If we want to move this clipping plane we can just modify the D parameter to say 0 0.25 and now we have clipped uh, the surface at uh, 0 0.25, which is 0.25 distance from the origin towards the edge of the cube. If we want to flip the clipping plane over so that it clips the other side, we can change this to minus 1 and minus 0.25. And when we say OK, you'll notice that it clipped the complement of what was clipped before. OK, now suppose we wanted to draw something else after clipping, and just to demonstrate the effect that clipping has, uh, clipping stops after the disable is implemented, we can add another object, for example, a sphere. We'll choose uh, a radius of 0.5 and we'll just draw that after the disable. So as you can see the Gaussian surface is clipped while the sphere which is drawn after the clipping is disabled is unaffected. To show you how we can get even more interesting effect suppose we draw instead of the sphere here suppose we redraw the same surface over again. If we insert this surface after the disable, again the original clipping only affects the first drawing but this second instance of the surface draws over everything again so we lost the effect of the clipping. But we can come over here and add a secondary clipping so we'll add another enable and this time we'll enable the second clip plane which is one. Okay. We'll add a clip plane and this is going to be clip plane 1 and we'll edit that uh, say um, um, minus 0 0.25 and we'll add the disable to close the clipping so we're disabling clip plane 1 now if we drag surface 0 to be after clip plane 1 we have this interesting effect that we have drawn the surface once with clipping plane where we clipped everything below this point on and the second time we're clipping it above this point. So we got a gap in the middle by drawing the surface twice with two different clipping planes. And again we can demonstrate the fact that if we add uh, the sphere, the sphere is completely unaffected by either clipping plane because it is drawn outside of both the disable um, 
uh, operations. If we drag the sphere into the clipping region, you will see that just a portion of the sphere is getting drawn. So with this approach, you can draw clipping planes or you can cleave the objects that you are drawing uh, along uh, planes that you can specify using the A, B, C and D uh, parameters. These can be uh, planes perpendicular to the axis or they could be at an arbitrary orientation. All you have to do is just specify the plane correctly. And this concludes this demonstration.